Hi, my name's Colin Brown and welcome to the 10th running of the Kipco British Champions Day here at Ascot. Not only do we have six truly magnificent races, but we've got two amazing jockeys, William Buick and Oshin Murphy, fighting for the Jockeys Championship. Also here at Ascot for Saturday, we are part of the world pool again, so payouts could be quite incredible today. I'm going to give you six winners if I can, and I'm going to start with the first race on the card. And the first race on the card is at 125, and it's the Kipco British Champions Long Distance Cup. And good old Stradivarius turns up here, along with the likes of Hamish, who's in great good form, but I can't see past horse that won it last year. And that's true, Shan, ridden by Holly Dor, a winner of the Prix de Cadron last time out. Holly sadly was banned, so uh, James Dor took the ride. But I think horse number nine, Trushan, will win our first race on the card. Now, moving on to the two o'clock here, and it's the Kipco British Champions Sprint Stakes. Ryan Moore takes the ride on the Wokingham winner, and that's Rohan, trained by David Evans, is a high class horses, is improved absolute 50 or 60 pounds in the last year or so, quite incredible, and has not been disgraced in group one events where last time out, it was slowly away at the Curra. So that's my second winner today, and it's quite a nice price. That is horse number not 13, Rohan, in our second race. The third winner on the card runs in the 235. And this is, of course, the Kipco British Champions, Phillies and Mayor Stakes. Group one race. What a race it is. Snowfall wasn't disgraced in the pre de l'Art de Triomphe and ran a cracking race in the Oaks at Epsom back in June to win it by 16 lengths. She won the Musadora before then and since then she's been very good by winning up at York and that was the Yorkshire Oaks. As I say, not disgraced in the arc, I think she'll be the winner of our third race on the card. Now, on to the fourth race on the card, and what a belter this is. It's the Queen Elizabeth II Stakes, a group one, of course, and Palace Pier has been very well placed by the Gosden team. This one has won four group ones this year, and the Lockinch Stakes, followed by the Queen Anne, and then a group one in uh, in France, in Deauville. They were its last three, and it's a top-class horse, ridden by Frankie de Tory. I can't see past it, can you? Number four, Palace Pier. Now, moving on to the fifth race on the card, and oh, it's just absolutely to die for this race, and it's the Kipco Champion Sakes, the British Champions Middle Distance Race. And you've got some top class horses in here. Misriff, uh, horses like Adeb that won it last year. I mean, it is just an amazing rail race. Alassi from the uh, Haggis Stable, they think an awful lot of him, but I can't see past the Derby winner, a horse that won the King George the Six and Queen Elizabeth Stakes, and that is horse number five, Adair. There wasn't good enough pace for it in the arc, and he had to make his own running. He wasn't disgraced. He finished fourth. I think he'll bounce back today. The final race on the card is the Belmoral Handicap. And in the Belmoral Handicap, I think you'll find that horse number 20, Sunray Major, is a group horse, again, running in a handicap. I gave him to the other day. He absolutely hosed up. And I think he'll complete today's racing by winning impressively in our final race, the 4.30. Frankie on board again for the Gosdens. And that is horse number 20, Sunray Major major. Have a great day. It really is incredible racing and I hope to see you there at Ascot.